There is a devil fruit in Bloxfruits that is rarely used by any players. And that is the spin fruit. As you can guess, it's rarely used because it's supposed to be a bad fruit for grinding PvP and sea beasts. So I'm going to be upgrading this fruit and getting all of its moves and testing if it's really bad in all three of those things. So first, we got to eat the fruit, which I really don't want to do, but I'm doing it anyway for the science. Mmm, delicious. This fruit has four moves and we only need to get 90 mastery to get like all four of them. So first things first to test the spin fruits grinding abilities we need to find a suitable grinding area the quest that i need to take on at the minute is to defeat fishman captains i'm gonna see if i can do that with this one move called razor wind oh all right that's not bad it's also not good but it's not bad at least wait 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 you stay away from my minions razor wind this is gonna take a very long time i've got an idea we need to get all the captains together all at once yes 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 this is grinding at its finest i'm sure this fruit will hopefully be very good once we get all of its moves right that, that's how it works i just gotta be careful of all of these guys first okay here we go spin I can hit them all. Surprisingly, like, not amazing, but not terrible. I'm super hyped to get the next move, though, called Tornado Assault. Hopefully, it does a bit more damage than this because it's a bit pathetic at the moment. Like, no matter how much I channel my Spin Spin Man powers and flip my arms around, it ain't doing much. 15 minutes later. It has taken actually too long but there we go we finished our first little bit of grinding we killed two oh mobs but well, we got three moves now our next move is helicopter flight hey look i can do what you do but in style look at me but i kind of want to fight oh he nearly destroyed me that's not allowed get over here tornado assault that's right that's the power of tornado that's a dough fruit oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That guy absolutely destroyed me. You know, I'm never gonna mess with the creative mode players ever again. I'm just gonna stick to my little fishman captain's quest. New skill available. That's what I was waiting for. Spinning bomber! Wait, do I need to like hold that down or something? That was kind of unimpressive. All right, we're gonna do spinning bomber attack. Wait, no, I can't even hold it down. Oh, I fire like a bunch of bombs while spinning. You know, it kind of does exactly as it says. Makes perfect sense. But the real problem is like I thought that was gonna like make up for this fruit being kind of terrible. It really hasn't. It still does like no damage. Oh no. I will hunt a sea beast with this fruit if it's the last thing I do. This is taking a while, but I will do this. There's one and the last one. Oh, quest completed. Wow, we finally did a quest. That took way too long. I can't be doing this. You know, we've got all the moves. We've got all the mastery. We need to now test out this fruit in PvP. And I see a dough fruit, you know, like the ultimate PvP fruit that people use. So here we go. We need to fly in with style. Oh, wait, there's a guy over there. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. How do I PvP with this? Pew! That did not work. There's a love fruit person here. I'll get them. Hiya! Oh, massive. Where you run an NP... What's his name? He's NPC Jimmy. NPC Jimmy is destroying me. Take this, NPC Jimmy. Now I fly away. Where's he going? You think you can escape a mink with the spin fruit? You've got another thing coming. I'm too quick. Oh, my bombs track? No way. Oh, no, he can fly faster than me. I made a mistake. No, no, no. He's flying away. Get over here, Jimmy. He's actually running. Why are you running from a spin fruit user? I've got nothing. I will take you down, though. Go, bombs. No, I'm falling. Wait, I can fly again. I can fly again. Bro, Jimmy, stop running away. He's actually running as fast as he... Oh, no, Jimmy. You don't want me to have to do this to you. Why is this guy so scared of me? I actually can't even tell how high up he is. He's kind of like a pixel now. Oh, he landed. He landed. You're finished, NPC, Jimmy. Oh, no, he's got Dragon Talon. That's kind of worrying. I can't see. Where's this mist come from? Is this you, NPC, Jimmy? Is this your doing? Oh, I got him caught. I got him caught. You're finished. Get over here, NPC, Jimmy. You can't stop the tornado, man. Oh, no, he summoned his best friend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in danger. Okay, this fruit is not like that good for pvp at all can confirm i'm having to resort to god human oh all right i kind of deserved that honestly i was kind of bullying a guy for no reason so we found out the grinding is terrible and also pvp but how about sea beasts can i defeat a sea beast using the spin fruit that is what we are testing next that is one big boy but he has not met a spin fruit user before let's do this get over here sea beast this move has a lot of range actually oh no Oh, no. I'm in danger. Oh, 
Oh, no. Tactical retreat. Okay. I tanked that. I need observation like right now. Like right now. Easy dodge. Spinning bomber. Now we use this move. Razor wind. Oh, that's doing damage. Dodge this. This is so scary. Where are those bombs? Oh, they actually hit. Those bombs went to Nadia, but they somehow hit him in the skull. Wait, am I actually doing this? I've done 25k. He's a quarter of the way down. I just need to awaken. If I can awaken, this will be easy. I'm doing it. I'm beginning to believe. I'm actually so close. Awaken. Oh, you're done for now, sea beast. I've got extra spins with my tornadoes. Oh, this is so cool. I feel like the protagonist now. This is what happens when you go from the worst fruit in the game to actually feeling like you can do something. It's a great feeling. I gotta finish this with spinning bomber. Boom! I did it. So this spin fruit can actually be used to defeat CV, which kind of makes me think, could I defeat every single boss in Blocks Fruits with the spin fruit? <sighs> I guess there's only one way to test out this stupid theory. The Gorilla King. The first boss that anybody will fight and also level 25. So we need just a couple of stat points. Here we go. The Fair Mirror Match. We're finishing this in style. Wait, actually, this guy's strong. This fruit can easily take down a sea beast, but it struggles with a gorilla. And with this, there goes the Gorilla King. I can already already tell this is gonna be so rough. That was only the first boss. And the second boss happens to be Bobby, which we need to go to Pirate Village to fight. Throw hands, Bobby. You're not ready. You're not skilled enough to handle the spin man. Like, you might be made out of chop chop or whatever that means, but I can spin my arms around really fast. This is gonna take some time, but I think Bobby's a pretty easy opponent to take down. Never mind. I might have been lying. Hold on. Only having three attacking moves makes this so annoying to take these bosses. That, like, this is a level 55 boss. And the way that this is gonna work is going to be completely different from the other videos I've done in the past. If I die a single time, I have to stop at that boss. That goes Bobby. So we're basically going to see how far the spin fruit can take you through the entire game. But next up after Bobby, we have got to go back to Middletown. Here we go. Next up, we have got the saw. He's just going to get destroyed. It's just going to take a little while because I don't have many moves. Oh, look, he's a spin spin man as well. Just way worse than I am. And this is the sword defeated. Next up is the Yeti boss, who is level 110. That's kind of worrying. We're starting to get to the big leagues. Aerial strike inbound. That did way less damage than I thought it would. Oh, he's got his little snowman minions helping him out. All right, this should take a little while, but I got this. I've started to notice a trend with the spin fruit, and it's that every single fight takes so long. And it's because I do, like, no damage. But even with no damage, we can easily beat the Yeti boss. Now I've just got to defeat this mob leader who's level 120. And honestly, seems easier than the Yeti boss. And I was completely right. That was easy. Next up, we're heading over there to Marine 4, because that's where the next boss we're fighting is. The Vice Admiral. Admiral. Also actually going to be a very easy boss fight as well. It's just again going to take a lot of time because I've only done that much. And there goes boss number. Was that like four or five? I'm losing count. It's taking too long to do every single one, which is exactly why luckily I can fight all of these enemies back to back. Or actually, wait, if I'm smart, I'll do it all at the same time. I'm just going to get them all angry at me enough. Yes, yes. Come this way. Boom, look at the damage. That was actually kind of pathetic. This is going to take so long. This is going to be a three for one. I'm getting a bargain deal on the speed run. Well, that took about five minutes, but all three of them are getting very low. But this makes me worried for the future bosses. Like, these are some mega weak bosses in the first C, and it's taking this long. There's two out of three, and this should be three out of three. Oh, I can finally move on. Can't forget about this guy. I so nearly did forget about him, though, because he's just hiding under the jungle. Oh, I don't have the right stat points for this. You know what? I'm going to try and do it anyway. Who needs stat points? I might need stat points. This is going to take ages. I guess I'm just going to have to keep on spinning and spinning and spinning for the next 10 minutes to defeat this guy. Here it is. Yes, Shanks has been defeated. But next, we're going to an even spicier island. That one all the way over there. This is a giant jump in levels. The next boss is Magma Admiral, and he's level 350. 14,000 HP. I'm in for a rough ride. All right, let's see how much measly damage I do. Spinning bomber. Okay, wait, hang on. I just need to hit him with like 14 of those. That doesn't seem right. Okay, maybe it does seem right. This is going to take ages. You guys are so lucky just being able to watch the highlight reel. I'm struggling out here. He's still not dead. All right, fine. How about one of these? That didn't do it either. All right, I'm just going to dodge the fist and then... Boom. Okay, Magma Admiral finally defeated. Oh, we're fighting the Fishman Lord next, who is level 425. The biggest problem as well is I can't even rest in these fights because every fight is max difficulty, especially when I'm matching the levels of these enemies. Oh, he's never gonna hit me. I got the Slalom, the Serpentine maneuvers. Yeah, unless I'm just literally stupid, like he's never gonna hit me. This is gonna be easy. Get over here. 
Another boss bites the dust. Only three more bosses left in the first sea, and then we're heading into the second sea, where things are really gonna start to get difficult. I mean, I'm already struggling with just a level 500 boss that can literally one-shot me at any point, by the way. This entire thing could be over if that hits me. So I gotta be mega careful. Whisper gone. We're moving on to the next one straight away. Zero rest time. We're speed running over to them. Here he is, the Thunder God. Level 575. I've already got matching stats. I'm ready to defeat him. Easily. In fact, maybe not easily. As long as he doesn't do like his cloud attack, I should be fine. The cloud attack is what I'm worried of. Literally that move right there. No, I'm fine. But with this, Thunder God also defeated. This first C has honestly been pretty challenging, but not too bad. I've been able to handle it somehow. This is the final boss. He's got some cool shades on. He's got some very dangerous attacks, but I don't think he can handle the spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just too quick. I'm too spinny. I cut it a little bit close, but this should be the cyborg defeated, please. Dodge the rockets. Now he's done. Yes, we have done the first C. It would have been embarrassing if I couldn't even beat the first C with the spin fruit. I think the second C is where I'm going to fail this challenge. So let's find out with this first boss. Diamond level 750. Yeah, I barely do anything. This is kind of scary. I feel like I'm not going to get to the third C. It's just a hunch. There's definitely one boss in this C that's going to make it almost impossible for me to get there. But it isn't going to be Diamond. It also isn't going to be Jeremy. And neither did Fajita. I'm kind of on a roll. I'm honestly kind of surprised I beat Fajita so fast. It was definitely still a strong struggle though. But here's where things get real scary. We gotta defeat Don Swan. Yeah, this might be wraps. He is already doing too much damage. Can I like dodge his attacks at least? Oh, easily. Okay, right. We're just gonna play hit and run, which I didn't want to have to do already considering this is only the second C. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, this has taken so long. So many avoiding attacks and so much boring play style. But finally, oh, oh no, I'm playing a bit too risky. Hang on. Yes, I actually beat him. And we got so much mastery. 164? That's good, because the more mastery I get, the easier the bosses are gonna be. Like the next boss, who is the Smoke Admiral. I beat Swan, so I'm not really worried about this. I think this should be easy, especially if I just dodge him like that. Oh no, he pushed me with his smoke. Whatever am I gonna do? Take this. Smoke Admiral gone. We're moving on to the next one because I'm taking way too long in between all of these bosses. This boss was one of the ones I have been dreading to do this entire time. I think this could be it. Like, this could be game over. Hang on, I might be able to do this. Hold him behind the pillar and then we fly away. Oh, that was so close to getting me. Yeah, this is doable. I just gotta be, once again, extremely careful because this entire run could just end if he traps me in the ice. Please just die. Yes. I'm surprised I beat that, but we've nearly got 200 mastery on the spin through now. And we've made it to the island with arguably the hardest boss that I'm going to have to take down. This guy can summon sea beasts. And I'm just a man with arms that spin fast. What level is he? 1475? Nah, that's crazy. I'm starting to run out of stat points, but I'm ready. If I just hit him from like pretty far away and then like dodge with my mink speed, he'll never be able to reach me. Yeah, I'm too quick. He can't even attack me. Oh, that is not good. So soon. Wait, maybe mink. I can dodge the sea beast. Maybe. Oh, no, that's not good. Get over here, boss. Stop roaring me. We gotta fight the boss mano y mano. Get over here. Get over here. Nice. This is so risky. He's right there. Oh. No, not the roar. That's just unfair. Like, what am I meant to do against this guy? I just don't do enough damage. I'm so weak. Don't do it. Don't fire the beam. Don't fire the beam. I can dodge those. It's the roar that's the problem. And of course, he does it as soon as I say that. Razor wind. Tornado spin. How is he not dead? Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. He's dead. Yep. I knew that was coming. Now I got him with this. Surely. Oh, how are you alive? Just die already. I'm doing too much much damage. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, I did it. Which means now we can head to the third C and probably lose to the very first boss straight Bruh. away. You know, we've made it to the third C. We've had a good run, but honestly, it might all end here. You know, I want to at least get past stone. I think I'm good enough to get past stone. In fact, it'd probably be pretty embarrassing if I lose to stone. So I'm making it my mission to not lose to stone. It took quite a while, but I think I've done it. I just need to hit like one more good attack, like my homing missiles. Ooh. There we go. Stone defeated. And in the third C, the next boss is the Island Empress, who is level 1675. And she's also got a very annoying fruit to fight, so that's gonna be a pain. All right, Island Empress, I'm not messing around. It's either you or me, and it's not gonna be me. Oh, it, actually, it might be me. I'm sorry. I do not even wanna talk about how long I've been fighting this boss and how much agony I'm in fighting this boss. But there we go. Finally, the next boss is the Kilo Admiral, which is 125 levels higher than the Island Empress. And in Danger. Honestly, the Kilo Admiral has been surprisingly easy. Like, I can just get in and out so fast. 
that she just couldn't do anything. Which means now we're getting onto the real hard bosses of Blog's Fruits. Ah, this could be it. This could be the end. I'm not ready. Captain Elephant, he just does too much damage. It might be impossible. At least with my current level. Yeah, like we're not even the same level yet. Oh, ouch. Hit him with a tornado. It actually like kind of worked for blocking the attack. Oh no, I don't think I do enough damage. This might be it. I thought for sure I might be able to get to Cake Queen. Like I was starting to feel a bit confident. I was starting to feel a bit too confident. Come on, come on. Dodge, dodge. How did he reach me from there? Using the power of awakenings and a lot of dodging. It's taken me 30 minutes, but no, I can't lose this now. He's so low. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Yes. I didn't think I'd get past Captain Elephant. I got saved by race V4. Cake Queen is the strongest boss I can fight in the entire game right now. And also like the next boss I have to fight because I can't fight Beautiful Pirate or Longma. So we're going to try and beat her. I don't know how this is going to go, especially with the spin fruit and how much health and damage the Cake Queen has. Maybe if I get my awakening, I could do this. I don't think this is possible. This is going to take so long. Maybe if I was a shark, I could do this, but I'm a mink. I got the furry ears. We're going guns blazing. I'm fighting with everything I have. I could maybe do this. If I play like a little nerd, I could maybe do this. But I don't want to play like a nerd. We're going in super close range. I'm using all my attacks because it's boring if I don't. You know, maybe playing like a nerd is a good idea. I've managed to get nearly 250 mastery on this fruit. All from just fighting bosses. I really didn't think I was going to get this far. I thought I might have been stopped at the second seat. But here I am. The away. Awakening has actually come in so clutch. Thanks to this, I can actually do this. It was looking a bit rough, especially in the second C, but I'm gonna do this. The every single boss with just a spin fruit. She's getting low. Please. There she goes. The spin fruit can not only take down a sea beast, but it can also beat every single boss in the entire game. But I am never using that fruit ever again. 